Star Wars Battlefront 2 in 2024 is just filled with dead lobbies, rampant cheating, and major game breaking bugs. Despite having these issues, I'm going to guess the Platinum Trophy, starting off with unlocking 20 story related achievements. Then I grind the co op with my friend, starting off with one of our favorite maps, Jabba's Palace. As I was the first one to rush to where the bots spawn, I quickly got the Quick Strike Trophy by just chucking a grenade into the crowd. After farming just enough points, for Emperor Palpatine, we let the boss swarm the site except it was the final phase, cause you can prolong your final stand by up to 9 minutes. With tons of boss to kill in such a long time, it didn't take long for my Palpatine to reach level 26, and having an impressive body count of 500 enemies slain. Yeah, I think the kill count is bugged. I'm pretty sure Palpatine averages 500 kills per hour, but I digress. Anyways, we were transported to Kashyyyk, and I used the opportunity to grind some sniper experience. Since I was using a sniper with low recoil, getting 25 headshots is pretty easy. My sniper training was briefly interrupted by a distress call on a resistance cruiser, but it was too late as it was already swarmed with first order vermin. Although I tried to intervene, I would just let the clip speak for itself. <laughs> I did take that personally though. <laughs> this little guy is so much fun to play on this map. After playing both light side and dark side on this map, my accounts reached level 25. I then resumed my sniping activities to obtain even more powerful snipers and their respective mods. It took a lot of grinding, but soon enough I unlocked the unshot for the A280, which is my 25th multiplayer milestone. I also grinded my way to the best weapon in the game, the NT242 Sniper. Let me tell you, it feels good when you actually aim for the head and get a one tap. After enjoying myself with the NT242 on the Separatist Dreadnought, my party was then transferred to Agent Claus to continue farming more kills. Get the, <laughs> get the bit back to the kitchen. <laughs> okay. I can't even fucking focus. Raid dishwash. <laughs> Raid dishwash. <laughs> Rose tea coil, right? Rose... Uh, rose dish, oh man, no, 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 no. Rose kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> Admiral hold on. Oh. Could you hold on, I got my hands on. Hold the dishes! <laughs> hold on. Aura sink. Aura sink. Nah. Nah. Aura sink the Titanic. <laughs> Anyways, I used the Vanguard to kill 3 boss in a row to get the not all miss achievement. Additionally, I got myself 400 assault kills, getting myself the resistance assault blaster, and found 75 more bots for the reduced recoil and the improved range. I then switched over to officer and naturally enough boosted 100 allies in co-op to get the a dominating presence achievement. Once I got the achievements, I switched over to the heavy class to start grinding, and used the sentry turret to eliminate 150 bots. If you want to speak about heavy, then your mom wins all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I have played every single hero in co op except one. Hey, uh, I think I got to unlock an achievement. I'm not going to make one go Ray. Ray finally knows where she belongs and has adopted the name Skywalker to honor her masters. <laughs> How about uh, yeah. you ad adopt the name a Dishwasher? Uh, to oh, honor your family business. Ray dishwasher! Okay. Yes, do, do or do not, there's no try. Well, I deserved karma for that joke, I guess. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> 
since we have enough of co-op, we decided to boot up a Galactic Assault match. To no one's surprise, the lobby is completely dead. While waiting for the surfers to be more active, I engaged in my first ever arcade match and completed all the arcade matches not long after. All that's waiting and the lobbies are still dead. But then my friend suggested a strategy to speed things up. Actually, should, do you want to leave the group guys? Yeah, high solo. We decided to match make in our own different regions, then invite the other guy. And of course, the guy living in the EU region didn't take long for a match. Oh my god, oh my god, you're, you're trying to invite all, 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 invite all. I have joined your group. Join, 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 <laughs> oh my god! And check out how I swatted this fly out of the sky. Oh my god, I sniped the fucking trooper out of the air. Oh my god, nice. get fucked, bitch. And who'd forget the very skillful gameplay of Arc Troopers on Genosis? Oh my god! The range is unlimited, what the fuck? Yeah, that's like you. Oh my god! <laughs> and of course, a game like this wouldn't be complete without its funny moments. Ay ay ay. Remember, no rush. explosive. Oh, there's a Darth Vader a camping. Is it stuck? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I also forgot about the obnoxious spawn camping. What the what? fuck? And the no life cheaters who live in their mother's basement. Yep, yep, cheating, cheating, cheating. Yep, I fucking knew it. Yep, cheating, I cheating, I cheating. To spice things up, I decided to play my first ever Heroes vs Villains match. It was a close one, but with the power of friendship and carrying, my team won the match, earning myself the heavy the hand achievement. This game can be the most annoying gang fights I've ever seen, or just chilling, spectating 1v1s while standing on your genocidal grandfather's head. In fact, I attempted to 1v1 some decent players, and of course I got clapped. While attempting to improve my craft, I got third partied, and of course it's always the Finn players. Unfortunately for Finn, Black History Month was just three months ago. I then sparred against other decent players, and I gradually learned the basics of lightsaber combat, and applied those teachings to claim my first ever W. I further applied the teachings in the 1v1 spa to amp up my aggression, and unsurprisingly racked up a lot of kills. Eventually, I killed 50 enemies and gotten myself the Choose Your Path achievement. Speaking of 50, I had played enough matches for my account rank to reach level 50. Earning myself this force is strong with this one achievement. At this point, I want to try out Hero Showdown, but guess what? There are no matches. You know the game's dead when you get an active blast map way before Hero Showdown. Unfortunately, I am on the rebel side and I could not out aim a death trooper. So I resorted to hiding like a little bitch. Since the enemy team didn't want to waste their time looking for me, they instantly quit. Hey, whatever it takes to win a game of blast, I guess. Even more surprising, Surprisingly, my friend actually found an active strike lobby. And of course, I abused the hell out of the death trooper. Unsurprisingly, we won the first half of the match with the both of us top fragging the entire match. But that didn't matter as we lost the second half and cost us the entire game. In my second game of strike, I didn't do too well. In fact, I was lagging the entire time. <laughs> my underachieving didn't stop my team to utterly destroy the enemy. And I was handed the win on a silver platter. After that, I resumed my hunt for a hero showdown match. And this time I was not left empty handed. Yeah, I didn't do so well in the first round. That didn't matter at all as my teammates clutched hard for the win. Yes, let's go! Unfortunately, in the second half, my teammates got utterly destroyed. I seized the moment and took out the annoying Han Solo. And after an easy elimination, the the fate of round 2 will be determined by a fair 1v1. Brave 
but foolish. Yeah, the third round wasn't even fair at all. With Han Solo the first one going out again. At that point, I was pretty sure the Vader would take the win. But then, this happened. Ooh, their brother's falling in the air. Oh, damn. And once again, I had to clutch up for my teammate. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Yes. Get fucked, bitch. GG! Yeah, that felt so good. However, that feeling quickly faded away as we managed to make our first Starfighter Assault match. As I was playing keyboard and mouse, let's just say I don't have a good time playing at first. POV, drunk driving in the Imperial Navy. Even worse, I was competing against tryhards. Max level Y wing, what the f- Before we lost, however, a notorious name entered the chat. Oh, yep, oh dear, that's all that. Yeah. I can smell you from here. I did slightly improve in the second match, however, I am still coping with my mouse sensitivity. I guess my team was very try hard as they obliterated the objectives and the match ended in mere minutes. It also happened that Starfighter Assault was the last online match required for the Galaxy at War Trophy. Wait, I won all, all the game modes. Oh my god, I can actually almost say why he was Starfighter. Yes! We uh did actually play Hero Starfighters, but that's story for another time, as I found kill streaks for the Interceptor class starship. After getting two kill streaks, I respawned in order to get a total of 20. Although the strategy was very selfish for my team, I didn't care a bit, for what I wanted was the Interceptor trophy to pop up. Oh my god, I got it, I got it, fucking hell, just kill- I then moved on and destroyed my first objective, and I needed 24 more for a trophy. I found the process easier by just eliminating AI bomber objectives, albeit there might be some complications involving my teammates but in the end i have destroyed 24 objectives and i had to do the last one justice like it was out of a star wars movie and i come see you and take hello one yes 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 Look at him, bro. Oh my god! However, I have yet to complete the hardest challenge in the game. Destroy 25 hero starfighters with the fighter class. You know what's worse than a heartbreak? When you deal all the damage to the hero starfighter and they're at 1 HP, then they swerve all of a sudden. While you drag your mouse over to the other side of the mouse pad to track the target, your kill gets stolen. Fuck off! To make things even more annoying, the hero staff does have a whole bunch of their boyfriends waiting to protect them from any danger. They have a dead However, if the sims are dead, they will just crash themselves. There was one time I tagged a maw, and he got so scared that he turned on his cloaking device pretending I can't even see him. Then we engaged in a pathetic goose chase that lasted 15 seconds. All that pathetic U-turning, just to be sent back to the lobby by a mouse and keyboard user. Yes! Yes! Despite Despite these complications, I have killed 14 Starfighters in a single night. I was so desperate for kills that I joined in some Hero Starfighter lobbies just to nick some kills. However, this strat is pretty inconsistent, as active Hero Starfighter lobbies are pretty rare, and so Galactic Assault would be my last hope in completing the trophy. Eventually, after 4 more hours of grinding, the moments you have all been waiting for. Come on! Come on! No! Daddy, chill. At that time point, only one achievement stands in my way, for which I have to kill 50 enemies with the Proton Torpedoes ability. Unlike the previous trophy, I can just farm bots in Starfighter Assault, which makes my life much more easier. Sometimes they might have the reflexes of a gymnastic girl and perfectly evade the projectiles, but most of the times they just take it like a little baby. No extra effort required. And this time without a single molecule of rage inside my body, the moments you have all been waiting for. Wait for it. Nice! Ooh, that's right. Ray who? Ray dishwasher. <laughs>